prayer. Isn't it amazing that the God of this universe, the God who holds everything in his hands, and the God who we betrayed and chose selfishness and sin over him, this God has made a way for us to have a close relationship with him. Hebrews 10, 19 through 23 says this, Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he inaugurated for us, through the veil that is his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hey, so I just wanted to show you how to use this prayer guide. It's pretty simple. You, uh, here's what it looks like. You open it up and you have the month and then you also have the date of the week and it's a verse and a short devotional. Um, when On the back side, maybe when you're done praying or before you pray, you can write prayer requests or things that um, maybe spoke to you this week or just anything that you feel like God is doing in your life just you can write that down and it'd be neat by the time you get to the end of this that you can go back and read how God moved in your life um, another neat feature is at the end of each month it says there's a page that says what what I did this month to sow the seed of the kingdom and you can write down just one thing that you you did this month to impact the kingdom for the gospel um, impact this world for the gospel so um, those are some neat features if you have any questions or you want this book let us know in the office and we'll be glad to help